Hello again, my YouTube family. I know, right? You'll see me. I th this may be the last time you'll see me before the new year, but we never know. But as of right now, I just wanted to get the decluttering of my lip glosses out of the way because I did the separation of them last night. I started at 12, midnight. I think I finished at a quarter to two. So, uh, without further ado, because you know this is going to be a long one, and you know I'm going to probably be talking in between and all of that. So, without further ado, let us get started. Uh, Michelle, pretty little girls, um, yeah, this box, yeah, you're going to have a lot. Um, of stuff. Your husband is going to be a very happy person. Whatever he does, I don't know what he does with the makeup. I know he uses them for certain things. and <sighs> Yeah, he's going to be very happy if he uses lip glosses. Lip glosses, uh, lipsticks, he's got powders, he's got all sorts of madness. So he could become a mad scientist in his garage if he so chooses. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to talk. I'm not going to do any swatches. I will show you what they are. Um, if, I, if you can't really see what the colors are, then I'll do a swatch. But I think you can pretty much get the basics of what the shades are. So let's get started with this first one. This is a Milani lip gloss in the color Designer Label. It was basically used as a topper. I think I only used this maybe once or twice. Very glittery, as you can see. Um, shimmery, glittery, mostly glitter. This is glitter. And this was called Designer Label. Gotta go. Next is a purple shimmer. This is a Bobbi Brown. And this is in the color, oh, it's Rich Color Gloss. And this is obviously so old that the, the sticker came off of it. It's a purple, as you can tell. Purple glitter, glittery color. So, yeah, got to go. I have used all of these before. I have done lip looks on all of these before. And let me tell you, before I go any further, while I was separating some, you know, everything, I was separating everything, checking to see if I had done a lip look on them before, how far back they were. There are some lip glosses that I have never done lip looks on. So I put them aside along with my new stuff. Yeah, there are, there's quite a few that I have not done lip looks on. And I surprised my own self because I really thought I had done every lip gloss that I that I own. I thought I did a lip look on all of them. Big surprise. So whenever I get that job, people, because it's from it's now my skin is is in heaven because I don't have any makeup on it. I don't wear any makeup during the day. I only put lip gloss on if I'm going out, which I did this morning. Had to go, uh, <clears throat> you know, food shopping and all of that. So that's the only thing I put on my face. Other than that, I just wash my face either with um, regular a bar soap or I usually, most of the time, I use my facial scrub because I really want to finish that thing. It's still the St. Ives Olive Scrub, by the way. So I really, really want to finish that. And um, my skin has been singing the praises of Jesus, because it's clean, it's got no makeup on, it's not breaking out, so yeah, so I'm keeping it that way until it's time for me to, you know, until I get a job, what do you mean it's time for me to get a job, until I get one, so there you go, let's keep this rolling, shall we, next is a Flirt Plushes Liquid Velvet Lip Color, this is in the color Purple Passion, and it looks exactly like this, but the, the doe foot applicator on these, oh no, this is not a jumbo one. There's one from Flirt 
that I think I'm keeping. Um, it has a huge doe foot applicator. I thought this was it, but no. So this one's going bye-bye. Next is a Estee Lauder Pure Color Lip Gloss. I think that's what it is. Yep, Pure Color. And this is in the color Sparkling Shell. Very shimmery, glittery. I think most of these were used as toppers. Uh, let me just use these two. Uh, these two. Remember the lip fusions? Yeah. Uh, one is Glow and the other one is Crave. I may not have even done lip looks on these because I was so disappointed. Remember the disappointment of the lip fusions that have color, but then when you put them on your lips, they don't have anything and they don't stay? So yeah, these are brand new, so bye. Uh, next, this is an Avon Plump Pout lip gloss. And this is in the shade Soft Honey when I was going through my honey phase. Okay, so that is that. Hmm. I'm trying to check the seat. Okay. What I have on my lips is the Glossier lip gloss, this one. So here we go. This is going. Bye bye. Next. These were such a major disappointment. These ColourPop lip glosses, they were such a disappointment. So I think I think I bought three, and all three of them, Michelle, you're going to get. So there you go. ColourPop. And this one was in the color Lychee Me. I think I might have done a lip look on this. And uh, I was not happy. Oh, and by the way, just woke up from his nap. And it looks like he's not done yet. Are we going in for round two? Uh, there we go. So, Lychee Me. Uh, here's another one of these. Lip Fusions, this is sexy, nothing sexy about it. Uh, this one I'd done a lot of lip looks on, I think. Shiny Licious, I think I did it on its own and I might have used it as a topper. This is in the color, this is a Maybelline Shiny Licious in Berry Bella. Berry Bella, right there. And even though it looks like it has a bit of color to it, spread out. I mean, you really have to kind of pack it on in order to get this shade. So, yeah. Next. Uh, let's see. This was a major disappointment. Lip Glide. This is a Revlon Lip Glide Sheer Lip Gloss. Sheer Transparent Color Gloss. And this is in the color Sheerly Bronze. It's a sheer clear, basically. So, yeah. Next. Now, Devin Antoine, if you're still watching, you knew these were going, right? These L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics. Yeah. They're all going. I think I bought three or two. They're going. They gotta go. Goodbye. This was in the shade Moon Dust. Yeah. So much for that one. This one is kind of hard for me to part with, but it is time. Uh, this is an Yves Saint Laurent. First of all, because it's an Yves Saint Laurent, it's number one. I think it was called Violet something. I had been looking for this for a very, very long time. And a friend of mine who is who used to watch my videos, I don't think she watches my videos anymore, but I think we're still friends on Facebook, JC. She found, I was in a search for a particular purple lip gloss. I was going crazy looking for this. And this is what it was. And I had worn it a while. I, I, I worn it a few times. Um, but it is time for it to 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 say help to, to say hello to say goodbye because the formula the the formula is changing it's like breaking down so it's hard to part with but even you can see how much I used if you could see that 
it's time to go. Next, this is a Chanel Glossomer, which should have gone eons ago. This one is in the color Spark. I loved this color. I loved this color. Wore it a number of times, um, but it, it's breaking down, as you could probably tell inside. A, because it's I've used it so much, and B, because the formulation is just finally... Lip glosses just tend... Their, their formula breaks down after a while. So... That's got to go. Uh, next is a The Lip Shine Apartment 5. There used to be a brand called Apartment 5. I don't know if they're still around. I doubt it. But this was in the shade LG 16. LG 16, or is it 18? LG 18, excuse me. They didn't have names. They just went by LG Lip Gloss 18. So there you go. Next is, this is an NYC Extreme Lip Glider, and I've used this one a number of times. This one's Chelsea Rose. Uh, it's time for it to go. Just, it is just time. It does, it barely has a shade on my lips, so it's, yeah, it's got to go. Buxom by Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Claire. I think I have two Claire's. One is this big one, and I have a small one that's also going. It's time to go. Just time to go. This is a Sephora lip gloss, which was a major disappointment to me. Um, this is in the shade, oh gosh, 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 deep, deep something. I can't even see what it says. It's deep something, shimmery. And, uh, oh wait, maybe it's on top here. Deep rose shimmery. Deep rose. It may look like a nice mauve nude, but uh, not happy. Not happy with it. Uh, yeah. This is a MAC lip glass. Dazzle glass. Mac Dazzle Glass in the shade Bare Necessity. It's really a topper. I don't really need to use this as a topper. So there you go. It's a shimmery topper. Gotta go. Uh, this one, Wet n Wild, Fergie, Vicious Varnish. There were when this first came out. There were a lot of people bitching and moaning about this. And I can understand because the formulation is kind of different. Um, I it, did, it never bothered me. But see, as you could tell, it's like breaking down now. So it's got to go. The formulation was like of a... It dried on your lips like it was patent leather gloss. But it was dry. And there were a lot of people who were very, very thrown aback by that when it when it dried up on their lips. It didn't bother me, but I had two of them and I think they're both going. This one is Street Queen. And uh and it did kind of dry in a glass of a on the street corner hooker. Street Queen. Very appropriate. Um next is another one of the other ones, the metallics. This is in the shade Galactic Foil. Enough said about that one. Uh, this is a Maybelline Elixir, and this is in the shade Orange Aglow. I tried so much to love this. I really did. Did a lip look on it, and not fond. Not fond. Gotta go. Here is a Bobbi Brown Rich Color Gloss. This was just an orange. I think that the name of it was orange. It's shimmery, shimmery, glittery. Gotta go. Here's the other Claire. See the small one? Gotta go. Here's another one. This one was in sugar. They did their time, these little buxom lip glosses. They did their time. I, I've kept them for quite a while and I've done lip looks on them. So I'm not sorry that I'm. it's time for them to go. And girls, I'm making room for more stuff. Okay, so 
This one is in sugar. Gotta go. Uh, this is another buxom, a larger buxom, and this one is in star. They did their time. They were nice shades. They did their time. Next is, this is a lip gloss lipstick. Here's the lip gloss and here's the lipstick. I bought this in a Dwayne Reed LA Colors. It's called Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. And the name of the shade is Charmed. And uh, it's a very dark, glittery, shimmery lip gloss. And this is what the lipstick looked like. So you put the lip gloss on top of the lipstick and get a nice little look there. I bought it just because. Can't walk out of a Dwayne Reed without buying something, right? Oh, goodness. Hold on. There we go. This is a matte lip glass or luster glass. Yeah, this is a luster glass. And this is in the shade Instant Gold. Don't even ask me why. Don't even ask me why I have this. I think it came in a package, but I'm not really sure. I don't know if I bought this one on my own. I might have. I'm not sure. Uh, next. Oh, God. I just thought I, thought I was done with these. Another Paints Metallics. Uh, this one is in the shade Liquid Venom. Such a waste of money. Uh, this is... Estee Lauder High Gloss, and this is in the shade, oh, I don't know, I don't know what the name of this one, oh, Honey, when I was going through my Honey phase, yes, this is in the shade Honey, and I might have done a lip look on it, I might have used it as a topper, not sure, this was a major disappointment. Benefit Hervana. Oh my God, this was a major disappointment. Such a disappointment. It's like a milky pink. Oh, got to go. This one, this one is kind of bittersweet in a way. This came in a package, like a freebie, or maybe I bought, no, this was not free. I bought, this was an Ulta. And it was a $10 purchase. And it's from, I think it's from Essence. It's a liquid lipstick in the color Show Off. And although I did a lip look on it, and although it's a great shade, when you close it, it spews out on the sides. And that's the reason why it's got to go. I can't take the mess. It's, it's very, very messy. It's a great bright pink red or a bright reddish pink. And it's great. It's a great shade, but I can't, it's just, and it, and, and it continues to ooze until it stops on its own. But it's it's just a way, it's a waste of product and it messes up everything else. So it's got to go. Uh, let's see. These were the Holt Flash Milani, um, what were they called? Full coverage shimmer lip glosses. I think I'm getting rid of all of them. I don't even remember. Oh, here is. It's in a flash. This one is in a flash. 103. I loved these when they came out. Love them. But it is time for them to go. I think I bought them in 2012 or 2013, somewhere back there. So it is time for them to go. Oh. Here is the other Wet n Wild varnish lip gloss. Vicious Varnish. This one is in the shade Throwing Shade. Great shades, but as you can see, it's breaking up and yeah, gotta go. This is a Melted Latex, which I bought this year, earlier this year. And uh, this one is in the shade Hopeless Romantic. Just a little too light. It's too milky light for me. I did a lip look on it. It's just got to go. Next is another ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the shade um, Fudged. F-U-D-G apostrophe D. 
fudged. First of all, as deep and intense as it looks here is not the way it's going to come out on my on, on your lips, at least not on mine. So it's got to go. And it's already breaking up. Look at that. And I bought it this year. Got to go. This is another Avon Plump Pout Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Honey Delight. Another one of my going through my honey phase. And here is another Milani Holt Flash Full Coverage Shimmer Lip Gloss. This is one of those dry lip glosses. When I wore these, I explained what dry lip gloss is. It's, it's just a dry gloss. It's just a dry, shimmery gloss. And this one doesn't have its sticker anymore, so I don't know what the name of it is. So there you go. They were like Star Flash, In a Flash, something like that. They were all flashy. They all had flashy names. This one I think I bought this year also. Major disappointment. This is Carez Lip Gloss. And I think it's called Daphne, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Yep. Daphne. Daphne is a major disappointment. This is a muddy, milky nude. And I love nudes. As you well know, I've learned to love nudes. A, it's breaking up. That's number one. And B, this shade is just disgusting. It's a muddy, milky shade. Gotta go. Uh, next is a Lorac Lip Polish. I don't think they even make these anymore. That's how old this one is. This was in the shade Delicious. Did a look on it, but it's, just, it's, it's time. It's beyond time for that one. Next. Do I need to say any more? Thank you. Uh, next is another Buxom. This is in the shade Stella. Stella. Those of you who are of age, I think would recognize the reference of what I just said. And those of you who are not <sighs> youngins, just Marlon Brando. And you probably don't even know who that is. Streetcar Named Desire, people. Streetcar Named Desire. Buxom Lip in the color Stella. Gotta go. And I think I bought these this year, too. This L.A. Splash. I think I'm keeping one, and I'm getting rid of one. This one is Angelique. It's gotta go. Am I getting rid of both of them? No, I think I kept the other one. The other one I liked. This one is a little too light for me. Even though I tried to change it up with different lip liners, I think I wore it once or twice. I'm not fond. It's just, I'm just not fond. Just not fond. This is a Maybelline High Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Mocha Amazing. And it has a, it had a little bit of shimmer to it. I wore it a couple of times. It's time to go. This one is another NYC Extreme Lip Glider Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Carnegie Melon. Another one who looks like it's a pink, but when it's on your lips, it kind of looks like that. And so there you go. Next is, I bought this one this year also, Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Color. I had no idea that this was a matte. Major disappointment. Didn't like the way it felt on my lips. And bye-bye. Another one. I got rid of all the lip fusions. I bought all the lip fusions, and now they're going. They're all gone. This was a Urban Decay Original Lip Gunk. This is in the color Kiss. I have another one called Tarte. Um, I might have gotten rid of Tarte. I'm not sure. But Kiss has finally got to go. Bye-bye. Uh, and I think this is the last of them. This is the last of the Holt Flash Lip Glosses. 
lost its name as well. Gotta go. Nope, this is the last. <laughs> this one is the last, and it all it too lost its name. So, as you can see, I bought them all. This one, oh my god, this one has a story. This is a Sephora Rouge Cream Lip Stain. There's nothing stainy about this. This is in the color Strawberry Kissed. This was when I was going through my... What was it? Something outlet? Roosevelt Field outlet? Commercial? Remember? With the Asian woman with the bright red lips? Somebody had suggested that this was what she was wearing on her lips. And it isn't. Uh, so, A, it's a matte. Bye-bye. And B... I was not I wasn't fond of the formulation. I really wasn't fond of the formulation, but I was desperate, so I bought it. And as it turns out, it wasn't the shade anyway. I think I wound up getting the shade. Whether it was what she was actually wearing on her lips or not, I found something that was really quite similar. And it was an NYX uh crayon lip that came really close, if not exactly the same, which I think it is exactly the same. But um, it, in any event, I found what I was looking for and the hunt was over and this was not it. So it's got to go. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh my God. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> this is the last of them, I think. I think, I keep saying that and then there's always others that are popping up. The third one, Wet n' Wild. This was the Vicious Varnish, and this was in the shade Epic. And Epic has got to go. Then there's this, Lord Sweet Jesus in Heaven. How I tried, how I tried with these Kim Kardashian Chroma Beauty lip glosses. I tried, I tried, Lord. Just didn't live up to par. Didn't live up to par. This was that other disappointment. Remember this one? First of all, look at the fatness of it. Look at the look at look at this hot mess that came out in the brush. Look at what the hot mess in there. This was the rose gold. I bought it because it said rose gold. Major epic fail. Here's another one of the lip shines. Apartment five. And this one was LG 16. So I had 18 and 16. So breaking up, had it for eons, gotta go. Next is an Estee Lauder lip gloss. This is in the color Flower, I think. Honey Flower. I knew it had a flower in there. Honey Phase, yeah. Okay, so gotta go. This is Cargo. I think I bought this this year also in Madrid. This one disappointed me because of the, the lack of intensity in the color. I was hoping that it would be as potent as what you see. And no, it really wasn't. The shade is very nice. The shade is called Madrid. But the potency was lacking. Next is J Cat's Eternal Shine Lip Glaze. This is a nude, a mauve nude. Um, I don't even know why I'm getting rid of this one, but I'm getting rid of it for a reason. So, Rose Tea. I think I know why, because it's a mauve nude that I was not fond of. Did a lip look on it, but not fond. Okay. Two more people. This one, I think this came in a package. Cranky Girls. Somebody gave me this, but I don't remember who it was. Lip gloss. It's a nice shade and everything, but it, I might have done a lip look on it, but I'm not sure. I could have done a lip look on this. Gotta go. And last but not least is Estee Lauder. This is in the shade, 
I don't know. Oh, tempting T rose, another T rose. And uh, yeah, it's done its it's done its part. Okay. So that is it. That is it. Those are all the lip glosses that are going. I'm way past half an hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I tried to go as fast as I could, people, but I did get rid of a lot. Like, if you saw my lip gloss stash now, you would see that it was full, and now it's like halfway. What? That means I have to make up for all of the, the ones that I'm... You know, you get rid of some, and you got to make up for those that you got rid of. So I have to start um looking for stuff. But um, not, not right now. So I will deal with what I have, okay, which is still a plenty. Lipsticks and lip glosses, a plenty. I got rid of some blushes. I did declutters on my blushes. I've got blushes, a plenty. What I have, I can still go the rest of my life with. Just, you know, Nancy, you don't need anything new. But you know there's always going to be something new, right? So that is it, people. That is all. Uh, I doubt I will see you before New Year's. So happy New Year. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Mine was quiet, as usual. And, uh, oh, today I bought Pop's annual um, apple pie. But, you know, the Dutch apple pie with the extra crumbles? I didn't tell him that I bought it. But I will give it to him on New Year's, not New Year's Day, New Year's Eve Day. I'll give it to him then. So, I, cause I, he loves this apple pie. I, I try to bake one for him. It, well, when I say bake, I mean put it in the oven. I don't mean homemade bake people. I don't do that kind of thing. I just mean, you know, is a Sara Lee or is it a Mrs. I know it's a Mrs. Smith's. He loves Mrs. Smith's. Mrs. Smith's uh, Dutch apple pie with the crumbs, the extra crumbs. He loves the extra crumbs. It's the extra crumbs that do it for him every time. So for the past four or five years, I five years now, I've been I I bought him one either for Christmas or for New Year's. And I think I used to get it for him for Christmas, but I've been forgetting for Christmas. I I bought him two gifts for Christmas, which he wanted some palm olive soap. I've mentioned that before. It's good for his skin for some reason. He enjoys it. I bought him that, and I bought him a Red Fox tub of butter. You know that yellow tub of butter? It's, a, it's well, it's not butter, like actual butter. It's a Vaseline kind of a gel for his body, which my father has super duper parched, like almost eczema-esque skin. Anything that he tries, it just soaks it up and it wants more. Like, it never moisturizes. But there are a couple of things that I think that he's been using now, which have really been working. Um, I bought him some Eucerin last year. He hasn't really said much about them, but he does mention the tub of butter. So I bought him another one of those, and I bought him the palm olive soap, which apparently seems to be doing well for his skin. So I bought him that. So he was very, very happy about that. And of course, he gave me money, which after today's shopping, I used half of. So uh, yeah, that's that's dwindling ever so slowly. But um, thank you very much, Pop. He didn't give Tom a card this year. So maybe he thought Tom is a very bad boy. Or he simply didn't have enough money for another card. It could be as simple as that. In any event, that is it. That is all. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. I am going to have another quiet New Year. I'm going to continue to look for a job. Hopefully January will be the month that I get a job because uh, I got a New York uh, Department of Labor notice stating that on February 20th, I have it right here, right here in front of me, I have to go back to the uh, job source career center thing again. I don't want to. So hopefully in the month of January, I will find a job, get an interview, get hired. It can happen because it happened with this last job that I just got fired from, but it happened. So hopefully the next job that I get, I will st stay more than a, more than nine months, hopefully last a year and longer. And uh, 
a I don't want it to be another I really don't want to be want it to be another law firm people but if it is it is you know beggars can't be choosers at this point in the game I mean I'm looking at other places but it seems to be for some reason that positions that need receptionists they're all law firms all law firms need receptionists and I'm noticing a little a little uh, ditty that it's receptionist administrative assistant just like this last job so it's just not answering the phones anymore it's really two jobs in one I can do it I can do it in any event keep your fingers crossed say prayers for me hopefully January will be my month okay to a find a job B get an interview and C get that job okay hopefully it'll be in some place that I really really want to work in all right not necessarily a law firm <sighs> okay people I love you I love my YouTube family hit me up let me know what you think of the things that I have decluttered and uh, let me know if you have any of them or you know like I said, I've done lip looks on all of these, so you can stop the video, write down the name of the, the, the product that you're interested in, and just check all of my videos, and you will find that I have done a lip look or a multitude of lip looks on that one product. Okay, so I love you. I love my YouTube family. Have a happy new year, and hopefully 2018 will be a very blessed year for all of us, okay? Especially for me because I need a job, okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.